everyone, it's Arlene Carter with Design with Arlene. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the Reno, Nevada area. And if you've watched some of my most recent videos, you know that I am going through the catalog starting at the beginning and going through and picking up the stamp sets that I own. So today the next stamp set would be on page 16 and that is called The Butterfly Wishes. And that is this set right here. I'll be using that to make this particular card. And let me show you the card that I have already made. This is just one of the samples that I made for the Facebook Live on Friday on my Facebook page. But this is what's called a uh, pyramid card. I've also seen it called a teepee card. And it folds down flat like this. And then when you open it up, you put it together and it opens up and it stands like this. There you get to see the top view of it. But it stands alone. And then all of the three sides you can see as well too. What's nice about this too is it also fits in a regular A2 size envelope when you fold it flat. So you would fold it like this for mailing and then you can see it just uh, fits perfectly into that envelope right there. Okay, so as I said, I'm using the Butterfly Wishes. I'm also going to be using, this is the stamp set, and then I'm also using the Butterfly Duet Punch. So that has these cut out two of the stamps in here very nicely. So using that, I also have another, this is the Taylor Tag Punch. I'll be using this one as well. And then for cardstock, I'm going to be using the Pacific Point. So you, this is some colors I've told my 12 year old, go ahead and pick three colors for me. And he did pick out some colors. He actually picked out Garden Green, He's got Pacific Point, and he also has Gorgeous Grape. So these are the three colors he picked out. So because of that, I went ahead and used the Pacific Point as the base of my card. These are square, so they're four inch square, and I'm three of those. And then I have two pieces of some designer series paper. This is in the Artistry Blooms set, and I've got, these are cut to two squares, each three and three fourths inches. And remember when you, if you want to get the measurements and then the, all the products that I've used, head on over to my blog uh, down, it's linked below. You just follow that link and it will take you right there where you need to go. And then you'll also just wanna get a couple pieces of some, some scrap pieces of paper of Whisper White. I just have a little, I haven't even measured this, but it's just a little smaller scrap that I'll be stamping on. And then what I have done is I've taken a piece of Whisper White and I or I punched out from the Butterfly Duet punch. I went ahead and punched that out. Okay, so we've got that. So with your paper trimmer next, you want to go ahead and take the four inch squares and using your scoring blade, you want to place that, those squares from corner to corner, okay, Di on the diagonal. So eat opposite corners and just place them directly so they match up to where that little, the valley is right there. And then go ahead and score those. It's gonna be on all three pieces that you'll want to do that. The three pieces of the Pacific Point. I just love the, sometimes I love the colors. I usually do the names of the colors. I used to work at a paint store and I'd say, that's the job I want. I want the job of naming the colors because you can get some really nice ones. I, I imagine uh, people sitting around a round table and just saying, what do you think about this color? <laughs> okay, so we've got those three. Now with the two pieces of the designer series paper, you want to again, place them from the opposite corners, just like you did with the Pacific Point. Only instead of just scoring them, you want to go ahead and cut that. So you're going to have what was a square, you're going to have two triangles left. Okay, and do the same thing on the second square of designer series paper. So you have that. Okay, so we've got these three and let's go ahead and fold them on the score lines and give it a good crease with your bone folder. And I'm going to be doing that with all three of the pieces of the Pacific Point. Okay, just like this. And then the next thing will is we're going to adhere these together. Now what I like to do is use a liquid glue for this particular project 
because what it's going to do is that sometimes you need to move this around because you, you want to really make sure that you get it lined up well. And so the liquid glue gives you some a little bit of buying time. It gives some time or doesn't adhere super quickly like a dryer adhesive would. So that's why I like to do that. So what I found works best for me is I turn it over. So this fold is actually like a mountain fold. Okay, so it's face, the mountain is facing up. And then for the, the remaining two squares, flip that over as well. And then what I'm going to do is I want to glue a piece here. So you can see the edge right here is going to match up with the middle fold. And then the fold right here is going to be on the diagonal. And then the remaining piece of paper is going to be the same way, just on the opposite side, okay? So let's take the first piece of paper. And what I like to do is this square that's on the left that I've overlapped, the, the uh, paper on the bottom, I like to use this as a guideline for the opposite side. So I know that I'm going to be taking some glue and just running that you can see at the bottom of that, the edge, and that's where you want to place your glue. You don't want to go any below, any further below that. All right, we had a little hiccup in the glue, but it's okay. You can see where it kind of really came rushing out there. That can happen with liquid glue. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and just glue this second this piece on the right hand side and the left edge is going to line up with that middle fold right here and then the corner is going to if you flip it over you want to make sure that you're able to fold this corner over okay All right. and this is where the liquid glue does come in handy okay and then I'm going to go over to the other side and do the same thing as well okay replace my cap quickly okay and then same thing we're going to do the same thing with this okay and then again fold it over just to make sure that you're able to bend the two pieces okay bend them to close them to to fold them completely okay and really that is all you need to make this card it's actually ready to go and other than decorating it so it's a lot easier than it looks so you can see once you do that you're going to just go ahead and fold the corner here so if you uh, turn it over so that way you now have valley folds facing you and then you turn it and turn it and when you put a little something here to close it you see that it is that that's the that completes your pyramid card just fun and easy now. And the fun part now is you get to decorate it. So, all right, so let's go ahead and find some of our designer series paper. And I like to just, um, just place them into the triangles there, kind of the opposite ends here. Okay, so it looks like that. And then with some glue, again, you can use the liquid glue if you want, or you can actually even use a dryer adhesive too. This. It's not as important as it was, you know, making sure it lines up and if you need to kind of move it around a little bit. But now this one would be okay. It's pretty good. But you can see too right there. I find with um, older eyes now, <laughs> I need a little bit of, of uh, more grace. I do need some more drying time on there. Seems like I don't always, I used to be able to be really good at eyeing it and putting it on pretty well, but. <sighs> the joys. <laughs> okay, so there's that. You notice what I'm doing is I'm just putting like basically purple green, purple green. There's the gorgeous grape. We use some of kind of a garden green and these two colors along with the Pacific point. Okay, grab that one on there. Okay, Got one more. All right. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and set that aside for just a moment. It's good to set that aside and kind of give it, let it, um, give it some more drying time. And the next thing that I'm going to be doing is taking my Stamparatus using a, a, fun, a fun little tool today and 
This just gives you some ideas of ways that you can use it as far as for, for different placement and things like that. So with the stamp set, I've got the Butterfly Wishes right here. I'm going to go ahead and use the two stamps that coordinate with that label punch. And that one is the larger butterfly and then the little, the smaller butterfly as well. Okay. And the next thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and place this, the, um, the butterfly, the punch that I've punched out right here, I'm going to be using that. So what I want to do is go ahead and place this down. This is just going to be like my guideline right here. Okay. Now you've got two, two very, very strong magnets that come with your Stamparatus. You want to make sure that you do not touch the two magnets. Do not put them together. Try to not even put them close together. That's just um, very important because they're so strong that if they happen to come in contact with each other, they can break. And when they break, they just, they snap. Okay. So the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to just place, I'm using the, the cutout, the part that I've already punched out as basically just a, like a guideline. So I'm just going to set that larger stamp right in there and line that up. Okay. And then with my plate, one of my plates, I'm just going to close it and that's going to lift up that butterfly. Okay. And then I'm going to take the smaller butterfly and that's just going to, again, line it up from your punch out right there. Okay. And take the other plate and push it down and it will catch, it'll catch on, it'll cling, that stamp clings onto your plate right there. Okay. Now the next thing that I want to do is go ahead and remove the, the piece that I've cut out. If you're using this for multiple cards, well, you'll see that you can do this and you'll punch it out. It, you can save this if you want and keep it in with your stamp set. But I'm going to take my, my um, Whisper White cardstock next and again, just set that there. Now I have learned a little trick with this is it's better to put that larger butterfly toward the bottom of my paper just because it will cut out a little bit better it punches out better otherwise i have to trim it which is not a big deal but i've just learned as i've been stamping here hopefully this works okay and now the next thing that i want to do is i'm going to stamp i'm using with the ink i'm going to stamp using the gorgeous grape and the pacific point okay so with the gorgeous grape if you can see this right here just go ahead and ink that up Okay, the, just the larger, you notice I'm doing just the larger butterfly. Press down and lift up. I've got that beautiful, gorgeous grape. And then the next thing that I want to do is with that smaller butterfly that is above on the top plate, make sure he's in the little, the camera view and go ahead and ink your smaller butterfly with the Pacific point, okay? and then press down. And now you have two, but you have two different colors, okay? You've got the blue and then the purple as well, okay? And move that aside. Now this is where the fun part comes in at. <laughs> if we lined everything up just right, let's go ahead and punch this out. And you'll see because we use the Stamparatus to line it up and our little stencil, our cutout of our mask of our two butterflies, it will line it up just perfectly. There we go. So we punch that out and look at that beautiful, two different colors. So that's another fun idea of using the Stamparatus. All right, all right, let me get these stamp pads closed up. I am going to use some more Whisper White. That's just, um, in the excess that I have and then in garden green let's do a let's see I think now you can choose to either stamp it first or or punch out first I for this particular one I'm going to go ahead and punch this out first sometimes I'm not real straight when I when I go to stamp something I want to stamp a saying on here so let's do how about we do birthday wishes okay so, and that is going to be in my garden green. There we 
we go. That looks cute. Okay. Now we get to kind of put this whole thing together. This is going to be fun. So now we get to figure out where the placement is. So you want to be closing it up. Now remember when you have something right, you, you will need to have some sort of something right here to help keep it closed, that pyramid, otherwise it's just going to kind of flop open. So I like to take a dimensional, a little Stampin' Dimensional, and we will, actually I can use a larger one. Let's use the larger one, I think, for the larger butterfly, okay. Okay, so let's just add a little step of dimensional. And we do need to make sure that we close it like this. And then the next thing we do is just go ahead and put that little butterfly. So it kind of needs to be positioned right there. But it also you want to make sure it's going to be over so that it doesn't overlap so it will fit in the envelope okay so you see you notice how i just have it just when it closes it will still be able to fit into the envelope okay but when i close it it will stay closed because the butterfly's right there and if you want to you can always lift it up just a little bit like this okay and then close it there now the next thing that i want to do is go ahead and attach the birthday wishes somewhere on here. So I might just, I think, just go ahead and put it right here. So let's grab my stamp and seal. Okay, a little bit there. And like that. And then I'm taking the little mini dimensionals and we're going to add this little butterfly here too, the little mini butterfly. Okay. Again, if you wanted to spin the wings up just slightly. Let's see, put them right there. There we go. Okay. The next thing that I like to do is add just a little bit of bling. Let's try some metallic pearls, I think. And lay that down. Got some gold or some silver in here. These will be pretty. Okay, fun. Okay, and then the next thing I have, I've got some of this clear Wink of Stella. Let's try putting that on. All right, and then we'll just put a little bit of clear onto these butterflies to give it a little bit of sparkle here. Like that, and then here a little bit here. And it's very light, but you can see it catches in the light. And then we got it completed and we're going to close it like that. And it closes, it holds, stays upright like that, little pyramid. And you've got some of your designer series paper here with little birthday wishes here. So. There is the card for you today for this tutorial. Again, remember, head on over to my blog for the measurements and all the products that I've used. It will link you over to my store, which is open 24 seven. That's the great part about it, right? Internet shopping. <laughs> Again, it will close up, put it into an envelope. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.